Many of you is welcome to this reading. This reading, this coffee cup reading, is for all Virgos for February 2023. I hope you'll enjoy this coffee cup and this reading and let me begin. First and foremost, I'd like to show you your cup. It's absolutely gorgeous. There is so much in this coffee cup. Heaps. So I have to go through it quickly. Now what's important I want you to know is prior to this I meditate and I am connect in connection to your guiding angels and I'm given a lot of information. A lot of important information which I write down and give that to you at the end of this reading. Let me just put my glasses on and I'm ready to go. Okay, we'll leave this here and I will begin. Okay, we'll start with the beginning. Okay, I like it when the beginning meets the end. That has a lot of amazing meaning. It just means whatever you are uh, worried about or concerned about, it does finally give you the, the results that you want. Okay, so the first thing, uh, it looks like somebody is thinking a lot, very anxious, asking all kinds of questions about the future, feeling guilty about the past, what they've done, regretting perhaps what they've done. But the universe is saying you don't have to worry about this. You don't have to give in to fear. You might you might be thinking you might be losing something, but you won't. It's saying to you like, you know, this these major experiences that you went through, they were all challenges. Yes, they did challenge your emotional state. I see that. But trust in the process of change because I feel like you are going to honor everything that you are unhappy about now so remember that trust in the process trust in the universe they've got your back the change your feelings everything you're going through it's all to do with the balance of energy of your life and your destiny so pay attention most importantly to your health that's more important than anything else your nerves your bones and your muscles need your attention that's what i'm seeing um, i also see that there is some truth that's going to be revealed something hidden that's going to come to light. You'll know exactly where you stand and where you're going very soon. Some news might come, some information, some revelation. Something is happening. It is about your dominion. It's about your foundation. It's about your home. It's about your... You want to move. You're not happy where you are. You, want to, you're, you are going to demand respect and attention from those around you. You're embarking on this new um, concept where you want to act and make decisions without anyone interfering. You are going to succeed. You've got to commit all your energy into this new process of wanting to move or relocate or going to somewhere. I feel like you're leaving. You're leaving a situation, even though you're sad about leaving, but you want to go. You are leaving. You're disappointed. You're not happy where you are. You're tired of the current situation, this battle. You're tired of, you know, you want to take action. You want to leave your current job. You're not happy or your current home. You're not happy. Some of you could be your work. Some of you could be your relationship. Some of you could be your, your home, where you are. It's like you want to look elsewhere for happiness. It could be your job too. Many of you, it's to do with your job. Some, A lot of you are to do with your home. You want to make dramatic changes in your life and carry through your plans. And I think you will, without a doubt. I feel you will. I can see that from your cup. Be confident and tell those around you what you want. Be assertive and share your thoughts, your ideas. This is going to bring out the necessary changes in your life by talking about what you want to do, by, by, by actually saying what you, know, what you are about to implement in your life. Talk about it. Some people have outdated thinking. Uh, some, you know, some matters they keep you know, saying, repeating over and over. But um, I feel like you are not comfortable, you're not happy, and you want to go to the next level. There is someone that is sort of a bit, what's the word, competitive, you could say deceitful, you could say sometimes selfish. This person, this person is, this, their selfishness is causing you some havoc. They're very controlling. They're, uh, they're very selfish, very controlling, very greedy for money, materialistic. 
this person they try to control situations they want things their way they try to control everything you are caught up in a very unhealthy situation when you're dealing with this person but there are secrets getting revealed there are revelations and there are changes there's something to do with compulsion something compulsion like you, you're compelled to do something and this person doesn't help this person that's very controlling this person you need to be far from away from somehow you feel defeated you feel like all your efforts are wasted as though you're fighting a dead battle maybe those around you're not understanding there's conflict um you are going to destroy something an important project or important plan but you have a good reason that you're doing so the outcome may seem unfair for those around you but you are in a very difficult place in a very difficult time and you need to provide growth and move forward there is some sort of a like a dishonor happening around like people judging you but i feel like what you're doing you have um, no choice but to do because of how you feel there are although one good news is there are people that are very helpful and this these people are going to support you the universe your guiding angels are saying what's important for you to know is that you will have your victory no matter what happens you will have your victory yes yes you will have your victory but within the next few months so it's not happening in february but within the next few months you're leaving you're leaving that's what they're saying your victory is when you're leaving this particular uh situation that's been overwhelming you that's been troublesome that you're not happy you're leaving it and you're going to a better place you're going towards the light something wonderful is opening up for you but you're going this wherever you're leaving i feel like you know um you're leaving crisis and over you were overwhelmed with so much you're leaving that behind you you know dealing with the aftermath problems they have drained you so much to the point where you want to go towards you're not happy with the present you want to go towards the future and you'll see eventually everything will work out there is a journey there is travel by water over water there's travel you're moving you're going towards a better place I feel like you are going to be so confident and you're going to start healing very soon. It could be in July, possibly. I don't know. I did see a horse there, so I'm thinking July. The horse represents number seven. It represents freedom and it represents July. I'm seeing in four also. So we are in February, March, April, May, June. Between June and July, something magnificent is happening for you. You are able to leave this situation. Because I'm seeing you from now to four, could be four weeks or four months, that you're resting the guiding angel said four months within four months and they didn't say within four months they said within a few months and i'm seeing number four here that you're resting and you're taking time out from hard work from from anxiety and you know what one thing is great here i see your guiding angels supporting everything you're doing they're supporting you they're even giving you and granting you some of your desires and one of your wishes is going to be granted here i feel like it's going to happen. It's going to help you move forward. I feel like you're sitting in somewhere and driving or, or traveling or an airplane. There's inspiration. There's hope. Your hope, your dreams for the future are coming true. Your dreams for the future. Wow. There's very strong love between you and two people. Two people really care about you. And these two people, whether it's you and someone else or there are other two people um, that really care about you, they are sharing your good news. They are happy for you. There is good fortune coming your way. Could be large money coming to you. Yes, it's possible. Large money, big money given to you. You want this money to be able to, to move forward and do something about your home. Something about your home or your job or your, your stability, your foundation. I do see the luck is turning. And luck is bringing you a new life or beginning life for you as though life had stopped and now you're moving forward personal growth change extreme happiness and money and luck again luck luck is controlling over the events and bringing you abundance you're surrounded with abundance and a wonderful future for you so the universe is saying just a little bit of patience and we're pushing in the light into your life just a little bit is left not much um you will do well working with others you have good management skills. You're a very good um, judge of character. 
you bring balance and control to others and to where you work and to what you're doing in your home. I also feel like now you want to do that. And you want to bring that into your life. Uh, the parts of your life that are not balanced and the parts of your life that you have no control over. You want to have control. New ideas are coming to you. You are compromising to secure the cooperation of others and possibly a reconciliation with someone that you haven't been talking to or you were not. they were not agreeing with you. Um, but I do feel ultimately your dreams and plans are finally being all fulfilled. There's so much rewards and applause for you. A job well done, success. Um, victory is going to be yours. Absolute victory. This positive effect is giving you a lot of confidence and a lot of self-esteem. A major detour is taking place in your life. A grand detour. I wonder if that was written in you. Did that come through anyway? No. I was just thinking the detour. They should have. Oh, yes, there is. A giant detour. There it is there. A giant detour. I saw that inside here. And I saw at the end of your cup. And I saw it at the beginning of your cup here. This section here, this, I know it's a bit of a mess, but it's a giant detour, a change of plans. It's as though a guiding angel is guiding you. There is a step being taken and it's, it's changing, changing positions. Maybe changing overall plans of something that you had planned, but the victory is there. The universe is now is the time. Now, the beginning of this year is the time for you to have security, to have strength, to have your stability. You are going to meet someone that's going to be very helpful. Someone extremely helpful. And this person is going to be the cause of you realizing how powerful you are. You are thinking all about your foundation, your home. Your home. Now, this okay, it does show a home, literally. There's a home that you keep thinking about. It's showing a house here. And your foundations. And it shows that how committed you are to the to the way you love your home and your um your surroundings many of you could be living in farmlands maybe or there's a lot of land here i'm seeing or could be the position of your um home you're just loving where you are and, and you're not there perhaps some of you are not in your home and you want to get there and some of you are in your home and you're not happy with your job perhaps it's overwhelming you I do see a lot of changes, heaps of changes, but all these changes are going to bring you a lot of success. A lot of success is pouring into your life, heaps of success. And you will have your freedom. You will have even financial freedom. Money is coming to you. You are going to be quite comfortable and wealthy and get exactly what you want. There is something you want to buy. You've been holding on to or saving for the something. Um, some of you are saving to go back somewhere. Some of you are saving to go somewhere. Some of you are saving to buy something big for your home. I feel like there is a healer, um, an ancient angel here that's going to bring you a lot of healing, a lot of changes to bring you a new beginning of healing. You are going to be surrounded with those you love. You are going to be surrounded in the community that you love, in the home that you're missing and you're far from. The community is going to support you, and that's when you feel you're completely free and it's happening between june and july i've got six and seven six and seven june and july there's going to be a contract around june or six weeks from now number six could be june contract that you will either deal with or there could be you could be summoned to go and do something there could be a court matter regarding your home or regarding something but what the most beautiful thing is here you need to know that you are going to get all I can't say justice because I'm not seeing a scale, but I'm seeing the world in your hand. Whatever you want, you're getting it all. Everything, everything you need is coming. Uh, everything you, you, you've you been striving for and hoping and, and, you know, dialoguing about, it's all happening. It's happening. You're getting it. I feel like there's a great new achievement, something wonderful. It's going to give you a lot of happiness. It's happening very soon. Um, I feel like there's a union of hearts also. Love. Love is becoming spectacular for those of you who are already in love. Two loves are uniting. Two hearts are uniting and becoming one. I feel like this could be a beginning of something spectacular. I feel this year is going to bring you a lot of success and will, will transcend you. There's a lot of playfulness in this relationship. 
a lot of happiness and what i'm seeing is bizarre one two three wow the star sign capricorn three times one two three yeah i'm sure 100 percent. three times three times i'm seeing the symbol of capricorn so somebody that has capricorn within them and they when it's double and triple that's the universe sort of intensifying saying capricorn capricorn so if you see anything else capricorn is the main one so this person that you are uniting with or it's supporting you or it's helping you or somebody you're falling for if the hearts that are uniting this person has a lot of capricorn in them they are capricorn more than anything else there's also two sagittarians here two arches one next to another so they are capricorn Sagittarius, very strong. Capricorn more than Sagittarius, three times, and Sagittarius twice. And also there is a little bit of Cancer because there's a crab right underneath. So they've got a bit of water in them. Very intriguing to have Earth Energy Capricorn with fire and water. This person is so lovable. You will adore this person. This person is so... What's the word? They're just so amazing. Uh, the earth with fire mingled with a little bit of water. Just incredible. And the Sagittarius Capricorn. Sagittarius enhances Capricorn and makes Capricorn uh, really wonderful. Capricorn is already a, a very wonderful grounded sign, very independent and very strong and loyal. But Sagittarius gives that gives them that extra kind of um, boost of fun, playfulness, adventure, love and all that. And Cancer, of course, the nurturing power. So is Sagittarius. Both Sagittarius and the Cancer are very nurturing. Um... And the loyalty and the depth of Capricorn, just magnificent this person. There is a very strong double tiger here, Chinese year of the tiger, very strong. For those of you who are born Chinese year of the tiger, or this person could be born in the Chinese year of the tiger, I also have two buffaloes. You could be a tiger um, that you are going to unite with someone that could be born in the Chinese year of the buffalo, because I have two buffaloes. So I've got two tigers, two buffaloes, and I've got two dogs, Chinese year of the dog, twice again. So this is the impacting of the star sign uh, Chinese years that are going to be impacting your life in February. So we've got the star signs now, these, uh, the Chinese years. So two dogs. Oh my God, there's two snakes and two monkeys. How amazing is that? Two snakes and two monkeys. So if you are Chinese year of the snake, you will do exceptionally well with the monkey. You will do exceptionally well with the buffalo. Uh, you'll do exceptionally well with the tiger also. So you could be a, a perfect match. So Chinese year of the snake doubling up. Chinese year of the monkey. A lot of entertainment, a lot of fun. And there is one Chinese year of the rat on its own over there. This could be someone that you're worried about, that you're concerned about, or could be also part of who you are. You could be born in the Chinese year of the rat. Um, it shows that, you know, things are going to improve for you big time. And all you need to know is just know that it's all going to work out and you're going to have exactly what you want and more. Let's have a look at this home. The first thing, home. Sagittarius. Do you see that, Sag? We had two Sagittarians here. Capricorn, was it mentioned? Capricorn? No. Okay. So let's have a look what they're saying. The universe says that home, your home is everything now. It's in your mind. It's all that you're thinking about, how to improve it, what to do, how to get there, some of you. Some of you are far from your home. Some of you haven't gotten to your home yet. So you're thinking about home, home, home. You're not happy where you are. There's something you're not happy. Um, something that you're not happy about. And you are going to deal with it. You are going to be working on it. Some of you are having skin problem or skin care is needed. Taking care of your skin. Lemon. Lemon is being suggested. So lemon. Lemon could mean many things. The zest of life is coming back to you. Lemon is also about um, purification. The lemon is about um, the embellishment of life. There's so much you want to do, so much you want to put into action. You'll be able to do this now. Lemon is also about some sourness, um, unhappiness, feeling unhappy. It says monitor expenses. You need to monitor expenses. If you are in the plan of saving or there's someone, there was someone very selfish here, maybe their saving plan isn't doing well, maybe you need to monitor the expenses, maybe somebody is being a little bit selfish in regard to money, that could be a possibility. Chinese year of the monkey. We had two monkeys here. We have the monkey again. Three monkeys now. But it says not yet. Something not yet. Selfish. Someone selfish. Hmm, very interesting. Could be someone, Chinese or the monkey, and they could be a bit selfish. And maybe not yet. They're not ready yet. Okay, um, it says a surprise is going to happen for you. 
a surprise is destined for you, a giant detour in your life. That means something that you've planned is going to maneuver and take a detour. But it's always divinely guided, so you don't have to worry. Gym. Some of you are thinking of joining a gym, opening a gym, starting a business in gym. The gym is their gymnasium. Anxious. You might be anxious about something. This anxiety will be all clarified by the secret that's getting revealed. There is revelations. I saw the revelations here with the moon right up here in your cup just there. There's revelations of the truth that's coming to light where you will have clarity. So one secret is coming out and you will understand uh, why you're anxious. Perhaps your higher self is trying to tell you something, your intuition. It says in three you will know. Within three, it could be three weeks or three months. If it's three months, we're in February... So March, April, May, something might happen in May or it could be three weeks from now. In three, you will know. God is watching. This was shocking when I got this. God is watching over you. Great changes and luck coming to you. I didn't get your angels are watching over you. I got, I got, first time I got this, God is watching over you. Great changes and luck coming for you. How amazing is that? Okay, quickly now, I'll do the names and the initials of names. Uh, either yourself or others that you will deal with or people that you might meet or this incredible person that you are destined to be with or anything else that you are dealing in with February. We got S for snake, S for Sweden. We had two snakes in here, don't forget, Chinese Zero the Snake, which is all about love and healing. S for snake and for sweet, X for x-ray. Uh, these are beginning of names and X could be the different cultures. They have this, I think this is a shin kind of a sound in the Chinese culture. Um, we have J. I was given two J's for Jerusalem or Jamaica. I have, so intensifying the J, big time. For those of you, your name begins with J. This is really big time for you. C for cat or Canada or ceiling. E for England or eggs. O for Olympics. K for kilo or kiwi fruit. M for mango or Mexico. These are the letters. Now, the numbers. I was given number 10. The end of one chapter of your life is absolutely coming to an absolute end. And I think I saw that. Yes. One chapter is coming to an end. Number 10 is about Chinese Zero the Rooster. Those of you who are dealing with Chinese Zero the Rooster. Um, it is connected to people born in October. It's connected to number 10. If you're dealing with a number of a house or a number of property, number 10. It is... Um, 10 weeks from the time you see this cup up to 10 weeks, there will be an ending of one chapter to prepare you for a new beginning. And it's also about abundance coming to you. 10 is about abundance. Um, those of you born on the 10th of the month, pay attention big time to this. And you will be dealing with someone born in October, which I usually Libra or Scorpio. Um, and of course, Chinese year of the rooster. Now let's talk about the second one. It's number two. Number two is all about abundance and a lot happening in relationships, all kinds of relationships whether romantic ones or otherwise a lot is going to happen and it's also about abundance it is connected to the chinese ear of the buffalo the ox we had two buffaloes here two chinese uh, ears of the ox and now this makes it the third one so we've got three monkeys and three oxes those of you born in those chinese ears pay attention big time and you're nominated you've been called out to pay attention and to know um, the Chinese, uh, the two also is connected to February. Those are people who are born in February, which are Pisces and Aquarians. Um, it is connected to abundance coming to you and relationships going through abundance from the time you see this cup all the way up to two months. And that is the end of your reading, my dear viewers. I hope you enjoyed it. Do give me your comments. Let me know what you think, what you have to share with me. I love hearing from you. All my blessings to all of you and love and light to all of you. Namaste.